Hey folks, Phil here. Very happy Saturday to you. It's grim, this British weather. Absolutely grim. We had wind all week after our spell of sunshine. I think Sunday I was in here, I did a Bothy Flake review and it was windy then. Well, it's just not stopped. Not much rain, but uh, there you go. Didn't do a video yesterday, I just a uh, bit busy. Life gets on top. Now, I haven't got a tobacco review, so I thought I'd do a little Saturday chat. I haven't done a Saturday chat in a long time. Then I talk a little bit about the YTPC. You actually never hear me say YTPC that often. But uh, let's talk about the YTPC. Caught a video this week from our good pal, uh, Captain Bailey's Adventures. Well, my good pal, anyway. And uh, check his channel out. But he fought, he's a home brewer. And does a lot of videos where he's brewing some sort of exotic ale or lager. And apparently one of the sort of, I don't know, linchpins of that community were suddenly removed from YouTube and he was pretty upset about it clearly and um just gone channel gone videos taken down some sort of community violation bollocks and um of course it's on all of our minds that our days here could be numbered and um just started me thinking about how our community is evolving a little bit. And on one hand, you've got Phil, the Briar Report with BRTV. And I was quite amiss at not looking at BRTV for quite some time, I have to admit. I think purely because I have to leave the YouTube platform switch over go on, scroll through, and it's not just coming up in a subscription list. Laziness, I know, but that is a thing. And um, some channels have, you know, produced reasonable content. Some channels, some, you know, seem to have produced one thing and stopped, which is kind of how the YTPC works. You've got, um, yeah, PC, I said it. Uh, you've got new guys coming along, and some of them will go on to produce four videos, and that's it. Never heard from again. Some guys will really take to it and go crazy and really embrace it, which is lovely to watch. I like watching the new guys for their joy and love of discovering pipes and tobaccos you can see them want to try everything get excited about pipes different shapes different genres you know and it's great to watch because we all remember being there but and and that'll always happen those guys will come and then they'll go and then there'll be some stalwarts on here i'm not saying i'm a stalwart but i've been around a little while um and you'll get like the granddaddies, that sort of thing. But BRTV is important because, you know, just, just like that fella, the brewer guy was taken off. Any of us could be taken off. But the problem with BRTV is, is it is limited to a certain number of people. And um, so, you know, the, the voice will be gone. I don't really know what the answer is there, but um, perhaps YouTube can come up with a genuine age verification system that allow us to watch the videos we want, knowing what we're going to get as grown adults, and it keeps the children away. What they do now, you can't go in and buy cigarettes. Although I used to. I used to buy them for my dad when I was probably eight years old. 
send me around to the corner shop, but they knew me and they knew who my dad was. And um, yeah, different days. But um, the other evolution, though, is these um, chat formats, right? Um, you think of Cane Rod Piper and his pipe club, Friday Night Pipe Club. And then every other week is a normal YouTube live stream. And then the second one will be part live stream and part interview with either a YouTube presenter or a lurker or commentator. Somebody doesn't present. It's just a conversation and Mike's a great conversationalist. I'm not just saying it because I have been a guest. And you've got the pipe professor who's been doing these in-depth sort of interviews, maybe up to an hour. And they've been good to watch. He's had some really good guests on there. And it's just two guys chatting. Um, Professor Jeremiah, he's got the pith helmet matinee and he's done a lot of hard work on them. He intermingles it with snippets of cartoons and old Tabakiana adverts and he's had some guests on there, some playing guys. Okay, again, full disclosure, I've been a guest on that show. <laughs> but then he's had Bob Gregory, he's recently had uh, Malcolm Gate, um, who's, you know, made a big impression in the community overnight. Um, he's had uh, one of the, not Eric Nording, What's his name? Um, Stockerby. Eric Stockerby on there recently. And I've just noticed that, like, Chad's... Have I said Chad? Yeah, Chad. Uh, I'm all confused. Anyway. If I haven't said Chad Yardism, he's also done them. And again, I've been on there. I've been on all the chat show. I've just done all the chat show circuit. What can I say? <laughs> I, I had ideas for something like that myself, but I wouldn't do it the way that they these guys have done it because they've all done. You know, Professor's got his well-oiled shtick there, you know. It's got a co-host, and it's a great format. Long may it continue. Um, Chad's just Chad talking, and it's lovely. Now I could have talked to Chad for three hours. And I was almost disappointed when it when it ended. Um, uh, Pipe Professor, similar thing. Um, Mike, um, Cane Rod Piper. You know, he's got a good mix of live and not live. So we're kind of evolving to that platform, right? A lot of guys are doing Zooms. I know I've done a load of Zooms and I'm about to resume them again. Resuming the Zooms. And it's lovely to see this sort of change. And like I said, it's nothing about pipes and tobacco. It's This is just the thing that brings us together to the table. And then you find out what's behind the person. Over a while, you've got things like house party. And it's just a great sort of new direction, I think. And because... The pipe and tobacco thing is alienating the powers that be. We need to find things like that to move to. The Zooms are great because it's all private and you can, you know, it's not controlled or anything like that, even though there's a lot of, a lot of spying and selling of data going on there. But that's another subject. But... Phil's BRTV is great too, from the point of view of talking about pipes and tobaccos and all the things that the powers of B hate. The only problem with it is that it is not accessible to the masses like YouTube is still giving us. So I don't know how to change that. The thing I wanted to say is I've noticed that these longer video formats 
of not getting many views at all. That Pith Helmet Matinee. But Bob Gregory on there, the former managing director of Samuel Gareth, Eric Stockerby, you've had Malcolm, you've had some really good, good guests and all these things. And you see 100, 125 sort of views on there. And I don't know if an hour is too long in our day and age of instant, you know, gratification. I don't know if most people just sort of look at their subscription list and say, I've got 20 minutes to watch stuff right now. I won't bother watching that. It's a shame. So I'm kind of here to encourage you to check these, um, check these channels out. Yardism, Pipe Professor... Professor Jeremiah, Kane Rod Piper, and um, watch a couple of them. You will not go wrong. You will not go wrong. And that's me on my soapbox, done with that subject. Well, as of this morning, I've got 990, 990 subscribers, which is... Kind of does boggle the mind, but um, I should say there will be some sort of competition giveaway thing if I hit that magic number, and it looks like I will, amazingly, <laughs> but it will be different. Some of you won't like it. Some of you might even be heartbroken. No, you won't be heartbroken. I'm just kidding. I just wanted to pique your interest. It will be different. Some of you will not like it, for sure. There will be complaints. And that's okay. I'm still running it through my mind of the format of how that's going to work or what the prizes are going to be. I haven't even said what I'm smoking, have I? I am smoking my J. Mouton Morton Mortar with some HH Rustica. I have a three and a half ounce tin of that to get through, so the review will be some time away. So yeah, look out for look out for my giveaway. It will be announced when I make that number. Notice this last sort of 20 odd subscribers does seem to take its time and it's a one step forward, two steps back, three step forward sort of thing. But I do predict probably by the end of the month we'll have hit that number. That's all I've got guys and gals. The sun is actually starting to come out, so it's a good time to end this. I hope you have a marvellous weekend. I'll see you soon. I'm back at work this week, so there will be a Friday car video. I know. Contain your excitement. But that's how it is. All right. You lot take care. And I'll see you Friday. Ciao.